Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to find these positive coterminal angles to these two given angles. And as we can see, these two angles, they are not in between of 0 and 360 degrees, right? That means the answers at the end, they will be in between of 0 and 360 degrees. So keep that in mind. And also, in this video, I'll just show you guys how to do the computation for the questions like this, okay? I'm not going to draw pictures. Please watch my previous video for my detailed explanation of how these kind of things work, okay? And right here, notice that this is positive 1600 degree, right? And this is negative 1600 degrees. Hmm. And you'll see the style of doing these kind of questions will be different when you have positive versus negative angles. Anyways, let's focus on this one first. When we have 1600 degrees, that means we have been turning a lot, right? Like this way maybe <laughs> anyways it is definitely more than one more than two revolutions and things like that and let me just write this down right here for you guys we know one revolution is equal to 360 degrees and then you write down a few more two revolutions is 720 degrees three revolutions this is going to be 1080 degrees just keep adding 360 degrees right and then the fourth one is going to be 1440 degrees and then the fifth revolution is going to be 1800 degrees and you can put on more but i'll just put on these five and now let's take a look 1600 degrees this is in fact in between of this and that right 1600 is in between of this and that well that means this right here it's in between of the fourth and the fifth revolution so what i have to do is take this 1600 degrees and then i will subtract 1440 degrees and that will be the answer let me show you right here i write down uh, 1600 degrees and now we'll just subtract 1440 degrees and just once again do the math this right here it's going to give you um, 160 degrees right and that's pretty much it and you see the answer right here it is in between of 0 and 360 degrees and another way to do it real quick for positive big angles like this you can also do um, division you write down 1600 and then you divide it by 360 and you know this goes into that at most four times so four times that is 1440 and if you subtract you end up with positive 160 degrees as well okay all right now when you have negative angles like this you cannot do long division it's not that clear anymore it will be better if you write this down and then just check this out all right so keep in mind the answer for this it's also have to be in between of zero and 360 degrees okay we have negative 1600 degrees already so it's in a backwards turn which of this should i add so that the result will be in between of zero and 360. negative 1600 if i add it with positive 1800 degrees the result is going to be positive 200 degrees i'm right done that's all i have to do let me write this down negative 1600 degrees i compare this uh, with that okay what's this now i'm just going to add it with 1800 degrees and once you finish the math right here just add them up you get positive 200 degrees and you are done that's it